What's up guys, it's Jesse of Card Power Gaming. How's it going? Nice to see you. We're here at the Dragon Ball Superstore Championship Tournament with the uh, top four still going on. Uh, Chris is uh, he's being weird again. And uh, anyway, what's up man? Hey, how's it going? Cool, cool. And uh, what do we have here? We've got a, a basically three elements. We've got blue, red, and a little bit of yellow splashed in this Frieza deck. Now, uh, now Frieza deck. And you, you, you've got what, top eight with this today? Yeah, top eight. Dev, uh, I did pretty good in the uh, the round robin, but I got yeah, I saw that undefeated, right? Yeah, and then oh, I got crazy. I got the smackdown against the Gohan deck. It was pretty good. <laughs> so now, now I the Gohan deck was you know that's interesting, uh, but you built this to beat like all the big decks right now. Yeah, ba basically the main targets were like uh, Vegeta and then the the mirror match against Champa. Yeah, you definitely crushed all those guys today. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's go ahead and get into the deck and just uh, you know talk about a little whatever right, color so you want to start with first. You, you play three different colors, right? Yes. So initially, this is a uh, this is basically a, a red blue Chompa deck with with a, a, a flare because obviously he's not Chompa, he's Frieza. So what you lose uh, with the Chompa is the draw one, but what you gain with this Frieza is a lot because you gain um, the the ability to keep your cards from being uh, attacked um, consistently during uh, your opponent's turn because you're basically what he does is he untaps a card. So uh, as you know, with the red cards, you got your Kabas, and the, the key thing about this is is a combo here is. Is when you play the combo with the Champa deck, he's vulnerable now. Next turn, do me a favor. Can you turn him around? Oh, you got it. Thank you. So you got the um. So basically, you play this. You swing with him. All right. So he, he becomes vulnerable with the Champa deck, but with this Frieza now, he he becomes untapped. So that means you can use him the next turn, the turn after, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this this combo is not only is he a double strike on the early game, but he's also a key part in Awakening. And so then, as you already know, you got the hits. You know, yeah. it's part of the Red Alien. I run three frost because he basically I only want to play him with the Vados, so that's why he's kind of uh, only a three right now. Um, now here's another thing that works well with this Frieza is this Potamo, and what he does is he hey, it's Winnie the Pooh. Yes, yeah, so he attacks uh, battle cards that are in active mode, and basically uh, the reason he's better with the Frieza than with the Champa is that because the Champa only works when you're attacking a leader, so that means uh, he doesn't get the draw essentially with the the, the Champa. But now he attacks battle cards, and what you can do is you can swing. And then at the end of the turn, untap it so you can constantly swing at your opponent's uh, opponent's board so you can keep their board clear with this card. That's why I, I run that guy. And then we got the Frost. Once again, you know, you only want to hit him with the Vados. And now, interestingly enough, I only run three Vadoses because I typically only need one or two a game to win. And whenever I get them, I usually hang on to them. I never charge them. I originally ran four, but I added uh, some extra yellow for negates. You'll see in a second. And then lastly, just one hit. Um, um, I feel like this card is an extremely hard win condition to pull off because you need, uh, you know, you need to have the two drop hit, which is very viable because you keep your cards in active mode. Uh, but uh, this card, you know, it's it's three red specifically, and it, it's an expensive cost. So just I keep one for threat, and that's about it. So that's what the red alien kind of run. Cool. And then and that, that's the that's the that's the whole red aspect, that's, right? That's the red part. Cool. So I see this, uh, this blue, right? And now we got the blue part. You know, your typical staples. You got four boos. Cool, cool. Obviously. Majin blue. Yeah. <laughs> and now I, I like to run this Vegeta because the critical, right? Yep. The critical because, <laughs> because as you know, I can pull this guy out on turn three. And the, the weakness of this guy is that when you swing with him, the next turn he can be killed, right? Well, not in this deck because every single time I swing, he just goes back to active, so I can just keep critting him every single time. And then I run two beers. Uh, I originally ran up to three, but I, you know, not enough room. I think two works perfectly because I don't want to have a whole lot of blue energy. Two blue energy is kind of hard to come by, and I, and I uh, just run two of that. It's, it's obviously a really good four drop, though. Uh, best negate in the game. Obviously. Oh, yeah, of course. Free, right? Yeah. Uh, I run three cents of bean. I don't got room for the fourth, and I think three does its job. And then I run three results training. And now, this is important for... I, I basically, I have to awaken uh, because, as you know, this leader, the, the downside of this leader is there's not a heavy draw. I mean, I don't draw every turn like other leaders, so I, I need to awaken. Uh, the Kaba does that, and also this card is pretty essential. On turn five, I need, to, I need to be awakened by turn five, and this helps you do that. And now that's the blue part. And now I splash a couple red cards. We've got, obviously... That guy, you know what he does. Now the the interesting the thing, about, yeah, interesting thing about that is he's a yellow card, so I can, you know, it, it kind of sucks to charge it. But in this deck, all you need is one yellow energy, and if you do have to end up charging one, it's okay because it's just one because you've got your yellow negates. 
there. So, so now triple crusher bowl and triple blood lug. So how, how are these today? These slaughtered people. <laughs> I mean, this is this is obviously the uh, MVP of the deck. These three cards, and obviously you can only run this. That's hence why we're using the this yellow leader is because you can only run this with a freezes army, and then um, obviously crusher ball. You know what that does. So yeah. in in my personal opinion, crusher ball is good late game. This is good all game. So I feel like this card's a little bit better. Um, and yeah. That's awesome. And then uh, side deck. Basically, the only thing I side deck was a fourth one of that. I maybe took out a Vegeta, just run four because this. So card, the fourth uh, bloodlust. Yeah, for the fourth bloodlust because that card is pretty busted. I would take out uh, the lightning fast hit for one of these against the mirror match because they're running the Vado, so I blow up their board with that just guy. The destructive terror Champa. Yep. And also for the rear match, I would take out the Vegetas for three Goldos. You know, these are a little harder to play, but, you know, they add one yellow energy to that, and then they're good for stopping the Kava Rush and stuff like that. And then, I don't know, I side to back in just in case I get, like, negated eight times. I get pissed I pay, off. man, it I'll happens, right? <laughs> yep. And uh, so basically, the main part of the deck is just to keep your board alive with this Frieza. And then, you know, they want to play the four-drop Beerus. You negate its effect text, and you get to keep your whole board alive for, like, the whole turn. So that, the reason why I lost to the Gohan is because I kept... A whole board alive, but then you know he blows up the field. So yeah, of course that's that's the way. But I mean, no one's really playing Gohan. So I mean, yep. it's really good. It's a, you could consider Gohan one of those like rogue decks. Yep. So you know, it's absolutely. But uh, you know, hey man, that's that's awesome. I'm really happy you did super well with this today. Uh, do you think there's anything you would change in the deck? Anything maybe that was you would do differently? Well, let me think here. Maybe maybe I'll try to fit in an extra Vegeta or an extra uh, four drop Beerus. But I mean, other than that. And no, maybe maybe take out because uh, what what I didn't see is a lot of results of training uh, th today. So maybe I would have taken out one note because I'm running three of those. But that's about it. Perfect. All right, dude. Cool. Thanks so much for the uh, deck profile. I'm sure everybody love to see it. Uh, super creative, super awesome, and you did really well with it. So I mean, um, I was that's definitely cool. We'll have to get more profiles on there. Thanks for the video, man. Uh, guys, once again. Uh, if you guys want to see more content, check out videos, stuff like that. We'll do box openings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, this was Jesse of Card Power Gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.